right, in this video we're going to look at problem number 10 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 10, we want to add and multiply some decimals here and since you can use the calculator just make sure you do the order of operations correctly. We want to multiply these first and then add on the 2.58. So taking the 3.071 multiplying that by 1.2 because we do multiply before we add and subtract we get this and now we can add on the 2.58 which gives us an answer of 6.2652 now let's look and see how to do this without a calculator for those of you that maybe want to push the envelope a little bit further since we want to multiply these two first based off of order of operations I'm just going to ignore the decimals for right now and I'm going to write 3071 ignoring that decimal and I'm going to multiply that by 12 because I'm ignoring the decimal there as well. You can multiply these just like you multiply any numbers just take it into account to add the zero when you move over to the one. So let's start with the two. Two times one. Two times seven. That's fourteen. 2 times 0 plus 1 gives us 1, and 2 times 3 gives us 6. Now, what I was talking about a moment ago, when we move over to this 1, we need to put a 0 here, or at least skip that spot, so that we're right beneath this 1, and now let's multiply 1 times all these numbers. Now let's add all this up. So now, I did ignore the decimals back at the beginning, but what we want to do is we want to come back and count how many spots we have to the right of a decimal. For example, here we have one, two, three spots, and over here we have one spot that sits to the right of the decimal. Let's add these two numbers together to get four, and we want to put our decimal in this product such that we have a total of four digits to the right of the decimal. So there's 3.6852. Now we can add on this 2.58. What's important here is that you must line up the decimals when you add decimals. We must line those up. You may wonder what we put over here to the right. We can just throw in some zeros and we can add these two numbers together and it should match this right here. And notice once we do that using the order of operations multiplying first and then adding we do get the exact same answer that we have over here. And there you have it, two approaches. The quick one obviously here is using the calculator, but then here's the dirty method using the pencil and paper. Uh, just again, bear in mind to multiply before you add in this example. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.